The next question is a picture drag drop. Here you give your students pictures and they have to drag them and drop them in the right zones. You can configure this picture drag drop question easy or you can take a look at part two of this video. Just ask your question first. Which animals belong to the dog family and which animals belong to the cat family? Drag the images to the right box. These are options that are in every single question of book widgets. Make sure to take a look at the scoring options here. Students can score points when all answers are correct and they can score points for each correct answers. You can also change the scoring weight here. Go back and then add your image groups. This is just the only thing you have to do for this easy configuration of this question. Add your question and add the image groups. The first one is for the dog family, like this. And here you're adding the images that belong to this group. So Book Widgets knows that when students will drag and drop these images to the right group, that it will be graded right. And if they drag and drop them to the other group, that it will be graded wrong. Of course, Book Widgets will randomize all the images of both groups for your students. You can choose an image from your computer, you can import one from your Google Drive, or you can find one online. The online images are connected to the Pixabay image library, so these are images that you can use for free. Add all the images that belong to this group. Then add an other image group. When you're done, go back. And then you get an overview of all the groups you added here. Of course, you can add more groups. It depends on what question you have. Then there are some background and Dropbox options and image options. This you don't need for just a normal configuration. So if you want to keep it easy for configuring this question, just click on pre preview and that's it. And your question is done. If you want to make it a little bit nicer, um, go to part two of this video. The only thing you will need are the image options because if you just click on preview without resizing them, the images will be really large and it will be a little bit hard for students to drag and drop them. Let's see how this looks like without the resizing. So here are all the images really large and students have to drag and drop them like this in these boxes. When you go back and you resize the images to fixed, then you can change the height so you can keep it on 100 and then click on preview and then you will see that all the images are resized and a little bit smaller and it's easier for students to drag and drop the images right here so they can get started and they can drop the images if these images are too small because your students open the quiz or worksheet on a smartphone or on a smaller screen, students can always click on the image to zoom in and zoom out. So let's do this. So we'll make a mistake here. Like this. Click on show answers to see how this is automatically graded. Again, just the same as in all the other questions, you can choose that your students have to submit their answers first. So you as a teacher can take a look at it, can give feedback and uh, grade it, and then return the work with the feedback rates and correction later on. Click on yes to see how this looks like. So when it is correct, you will see that it will be that the image will be in green and when it's wrong you can see that it's colored in red with the x here as well 